White House officials arrived in Seoul today. Their purpose here is to prepare the details for a summit between South Korea's newly elected President Moon Jae-in and his American counterpart, President Donald Trump. Hwang Ho-jun starts us off with a high-profile visit. After attending the two-day Belt and Road Initiative Forum in Beijing, the high-level advisory delegation from the U.S. arrived at Incheon International Airport just before 7 p.m. on Monday. Led by Senior Director for East Asia at the National Security Council, Matt Pottinger, and Allison Hooker, the Director for Korea at the NSC, the team are visiting Korea to prepare for the planned Korea-U.S. summit promised by President Trump during his phone call with President Moon Jae-in following Moon's election victory. While it's not confirmed whether they will be able to meet President Moon himself during their visit, they will sit down with top officials including Jung Lee Kyung, a former South Korean ambassador to Geneva, who currently leads the presidential office's security and diplomatic task force, and Deputy Foreign Minister Lee jong gyu They are expected to settle on an exact date for the summit during their visit. Diplomatic sources in Seoul say it could take place at the White House in June, as both leaders have agreed to meet as soon as possible. But considering it could be longer than that before President Moon has his cabinet in place, there's also the possibility the two could meet for the first time at the G20 summit in Hamburg, Germany in early July. Along with the date, the agenda for the summit is also likely to be set during the visit. As the team is visiting during a pretty hectic time, with President Moon being sworn into office last Wednesday and just four days later, on early Sunday morning, Pyongyang launching a missile for the seventh time this year, the agenda will most definitely include cooperation between the two countries in light of the ever-increasing provocations from Pyongyang. But experts believe the hot potato, the fat issue, will also be on the table since President Trump has said Seoul needs to pay one billion U.S. dollars for fat, a cost existing agreements say South Korea is not responsible for. After the U.S. delegation wrap up their talks in Seoul, South Korean delegations will head to Washington for further talks later this month. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.